and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Kristen and today we're going to be doing a little stocking stuffer haul for uh, my kiddos I thought maybe you guys would enjoy it I recently did a video showing you guys what I got my kids for Christmas I'll link that below if you want to check it out I have a uh, seven month old boy and I've also got a three year old boy <laughs> so there's your ages and genders if that's something you're concerned with when it comes to getting um, gifts for kids. I think the baby stuff is pretty gender neutral. Um, but all of the stuff I got for stockings, especially for my oldest boy, most of it is either gender neutral or they had a girl version of it as well. So just to keep that in mind and everything came from Walmart. So just to start off, these are the stockings that I picked out. I thought they were really cute. They just say Merry Christmas on them. My bed is creaky. Sorry. <laughs> Um, and I just, I thought they were pretty and I thought it was something that they could grow into. Um, they were like around $7. They were six and change. So I rounded up to seven. Um, I like getting things that my kids can grow into and use for years and years. I looked at the character themed stockings, but I thought, you know, we'll probably only get a couple of years of use out of those and then they'll be ready for something else. And this is something that they can use indefinitely. So that's what we got for the boys for stockings and I've got jeans in here for my husband. Do you guys really care to see those? <laughs> so, everything's just kind of jumbled in, so I think I'll just go through and like kind of tell you guys what is what for each kid. Uh, so here I have a, a set of size 12 month long sleeve onesies, and it comes with five onesies in it. It says there's an, a bonus onesie. Um, so it's supposed to be four and you get a bonus, but they're from Gerber and I thought these would be perfect for my infant stockings because he needs some long sleeve undershirts for layering. Um, all of the clothes I have for my infant are actually clothes that my oldest boy wore, which seasonally should have worked out because I had a late or mid spring baby and a summer baby. So seasonally things should have roughly worked out, but my baby is growing like a weed. He's seven months old and he is heading into 12 month clothes, which means that everything we have that is a size 12 month is summer. So all of our short sleeve onesies will work with some layering, but this is easier than going out and just buying a whole new wardrobe. So anyway, perfect little stocking stuffer for my baby because of course like he can't do candy and stuff. So we'll just get in some things that he needs. Uh, I also got him, whoa, <laughs> dude chill <laughs> uh we'll get we'll get to you in a minute wait your turn sir um so i also picked up a bottle brush we needed a new one so not exactly exciting for baby but exciting for mom and we got him some blueberry puffs from gerber these are for eight plus months so he's you know a little off on it but you know he'll be he'll be into these sooner rather than later I also got him a new bottle from Parents' Choice. This is just the kind that he uses in their dollar, so it works out. <clears throat> and I think that's everything baby related out of this bag. So we'll just kind of go through everything else in here that's toddler related. So this little monkey that I cannot shut off and is begging for me to show you. Isn't he cute? He's like a little sock monkey and he poops jelly beans. I thought my toddler would just get a kick out of that. They had a variety of these little guys. So yeah, there's just everything, pretty much everything I got for stocking stuffers from Walmart, everything's from Walmart, is through like their holiday section. Um, other than the baby stuff, I don't think I got anything out of any other area of the store. So if you guys are looking for any of this stuff, go to the holiday section. Um, I'll also try to link everything below that I can in case you just want to shop online. I don't blame you. So anyways, sock monkey. They also had reindeer and they had something else and they all poop jelly beans. So we got him um, M&Ms in the little candy cane form. This monkey, I tell you guys, does not have an off switch and I'm kind of regretting my purchase because it doesn't stop. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Anytime you touch it, it makes noise. Um, my son threw these in the shopping cart. I didn't even notice they were in there until we got to the checkout. I think he thought we were just going through there and grabbing stuff and throwing it in the cart because it's kind of what I was doing when it came to candy, but I also knew what I was wanting to buy him. And then I found a few things like these, which is um, kisses already in the shopping basket. Um, so I went ahead and bought them anyways because they're like a dollar and they'll go in his stocking just fine. 
but I wasn't planning on buying it. Along with this, he threw this in there as well. <laughs> it's a Christmas push pop, but I know he likes, it's got a Christmas tree on it, but I know he likes push pops, so I was like, whatever, but he has to wait till Christmas, so. Them's the rules, and normally he don't get away with throwing stuff in the shopping cart, but this time I didn't catch those. Um, I thought this was kind of fun. It's just a Christmas candy necklace and bracelet set. He's never had candy necklaces before, so he's he's getting old enough to have them. Thought it would be kind of fun for him. Then I also got him a SpongeBob gummies, it's the Krabby Patties. He likes these. He's had them at Halloween. And of course, I had to get him a bag of coal for all the times he's been rotten this year. He needed a bag of coal. I also got him a Swiss Miss Cocoa Mix. This was like a dollar. A lot of this stuff was a dollar, which I think I went a little overboard and bought too much. But yeah, it's just a milk chocolate cocoa mix. I thought it was cute. And then, of course, a chocolate Santa. I needed one of those. I was trying to find one of the Russell Stover marshmallow Santas. I think it's Russell Stover. Is it Russell Stover's? Or maybe, do they do microwavable meals? <laughs> I was looking for the marshmallow Santas and all I could find was like big sets of them. And I'm like, my kid does not need five chocolate marshmallow Santas and the baby can't eat them yet. So I'm like, I'm not buying all that. Um, but these are like a dollar. So I just got him a big chocolate Santa. Uh, they had Ryan's World chapstick. I thought he might like that. He likes Ryan's World. And sometimes he likes to put chapstick on after he brushes his teeth. It's something that I do. And I just kind of started doing it with him. And so I got him his own chapstick. Okay, this one's for the baby and I found it over in the baby section. It was a little over a dollar. I just thought it was neat. It's got all these little balls inside. And turn it upside down. And do some ASMR with that. And they just filter through. So I got my son three different Crayola bath bombs. He really likes bath bombs. Um, so these are twisted bath bombs, cotton candy, berry scented, and I think they like changed the, the bath water. So, um, yeah, strawberry and cotton candy. This one is orange and citrus scented. And then the green one is watermelon apple. So, and yeah, they're just called silly scents, but I'm pretty sure they changed his bath water. He said something like this before and it like changed the water, like two different colors. And then I also got him this set. I'm going to open it up and stick it in the stocking by themselves. But he loves bath paints. He loves bath foam, anything like that. So this comes with um, body wash pen set and a doodle on and lather. Oh, doodle on. Okay. I don't know. Um, it's got some kind of like a weird sponge I'm assuming to wash your child with. And then it's got the bath pen so he can, he can write on the wall. So... I'm gonna take these all out and put them in the stocking individually because there's no way they're all gonna fit in this box with everything else. <clears throat> then I also got him some whipped soap. I have grape scent and I've got Granny Smith apple and they're like Play-Doh except for their soap and you can use them in the bath. Do you guys remember, what, what was it called? Body Works or Body Art? I forget. When I was a kid, let me, guys, let me know if you guys remember, but when I was a kid, back in the 90s, <laughs> um, in the 2000s, Bath and Body Works had a kids collection. Do you guys remember that? I remember they had those tubs like this and it was like apple scented soap. And it was like a solid soap, you took it out, but it wasn't like super solid, like you could mold with it and you could play with it. And I remember having that in the bath when I was a kid. I was probably like, I don't know, seven or eight. And I loved it. I would like sculpt all kinds of things in the bath with that soap. So. When I seen this, I thought I had to get it for him because, like, again, it's like a Play-Doh, but it's for the bath, and he can mold it and do whatever with it. <clears throat> so this one's for the baby's stocking. It is peach-flavored yogurt bites. Um, it's for stage three, which is nine months and up, so, again, he'll be into this pretty soon. I also got my son um, a set of Paw Patrol. I thought this was bath paint, but it says this is body wash and shampoo. Oops, my bad. I might take this back because he doesn't need any more body wash or shampoo. Um, but it's Paw Patrol and it's got like a little sponge with it as well. So that might be a return. Because honestly, like I, there's too much stuff for his stocking anyways. Uh, got him a second thing of M&M's because he was begging for it. I was going to let him eat those today, but he's seemingly forgot about them. So not sure what we're going to do with both of those. Um, I got two things of Ferrero... Roche, Roche chocolates, the collections, I cannot talk. Um, I like to give these to my mailman 
I gave him a box of butter cookies last year just to be nice because we always have the same mailman and he also also he also delivers mail to my brother-in-law um, at his work and they talk sometimes and my brother my mailman told my brother-in-law about the cookies we bought him and I guess he talked about the cookies like half the year this year he was just really excited about it so this year we got him chocolates um, and I'll just put like a little um, Christmas card on here that says to mailman and I'll stick it in my mailbox and he'll help himself and then this other one I'm giving to the lady at the plasma center where I donate plasma um, she works in the playroom with my kids and she's really good at my kids so got her some chocolates as well and I'll put a little little Christmas card on that too this one's for the baby I love these they're teether bibs from nubby and I thought that one was a blue. I can't talk. I thought that one was cute. We already have two of these, so now we've got three. Then I got my son a new pack of toothbrushes because he's going to need toothbrushes after all that chocolate. And you can never have enough toothbrushes on hand. Am I right? I mean, your kid gets sick or they drop them on the in the toilet or I mean, my kid hasn't done that one yet, but like he's put other things in the toilet. If he could get a hold of his toothbrush, he'd probably throw it in there. So it's just nice to have toilet have, have uh, toothbrushes on hand so here's another thing of that whipped soap this one is in cherry berry and then they had these I thought they were neat it's um, bath bomb surprise Lion King and it's got something inside of it some kind of a toy so that'll be fun that'll be fun for my son to get a toy out of and I also bought him a tin of M&Ms clearly we got a lot of M&Ms this year and the last one I got him for his stocking is a No Mess Magic Ink Picture Pin, and it's PJ Mask. And so, um, I guess he won't make a mess with it. What? How does this thing work? Oh, okay, that's kind of neat. So it's like a mystery picture. So it has a question, which is when Craig puts on his pajamas, what superhero does he become? Which I think he's Gecko, or maybe he's Catboy. And then they color his picture, and they find out what his superhero is so that's kind of cool that's how those work so and they're all just kind of like that where you just color the picture to find out what they become and then there's a few little like crossword puzzles and which my son's a little too young for those but he'll enjoy coloring the pictures so I thought that was kind of neat and perfect size for his stocking okay so that is everything I got my boys for their Christmas stockings hopefully this gives you guys some ideas of things to get for your kids I hope you guys enjoyed this video again everything came from Walmart and everything came out of the holiday section except for the baby stuff babies are so hard to buy for Christmas um, we've also got teething biscuits here at the house we've got um, baby food already in jars and I'm thinking about just putting that stuff in his Christmas stocking just to fill it out <laughs> is that horrible of me possibly um, so anyways that is everything that I got my kids so again if you guys want to see the what I got my kids for Christmas video I'll link that below as well if you need ideas um, otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope you give this video a big thumbs up so other people can find it as well subscribe if you've not already I do lots of mommy related content and vlogging and I hope to catch you guys in my next video